this simple IC strategy that I'm about to show you can literally make you $100 with each and every setup that you get on any chart of your choice. Mm -hmm. What is up beautiful traders? How you guys doing? I am doing absolutely lovely and it is a beautiful Sunday and I know y'all are waiting for the weekly analysis but first of all I'm going to show you guys a little strategy that I used on not Nasdaq for a change. I did not trade Nasdaq. I actually trade US 30 but it's actually one and the same thing because Nasdaq and US 30 they almost move alike if not alike. I'm going to show you guys what I did how i did it and i know a lot of you guys clicked the video just for that and if you're able to actually just replicate it do it over and over again practice it you're literally going to be able to do the exact thing that i just did right if you're new to the channel welcome we trade nasdaq over here if you're returning welcome back don't forget to hit the like button turn your post notifications and subscribe to the channel because i'll be doing a lit giveaway when we hit 10,000 subscribers i'm sure you don't want to miss that i'm going to be finding 10 different accounts and giving 10 different people free mentorship you know what i'm saying so make sure you're hitting that like button you're subscribed you have your notifications turned on and you're consistent with the videos let's go right into the chart and get started this strategy works on any chart that you're trading any chart of your choice if you actually just wait for the setup follow it be patient and just do exactly what i'm about to show you it's just going to be a quick run through but it is really simple so obviously let's go on our chart as you can see it's us 30 and our four hour time frame you obviously want to start from the higher time frame and look for the um trend and in this case it's an uptrend right you can see that yes it's an uptrend over there and also we can see that it had a support level over here that it broke all right so obviously the buyers are stepping into the market so we're looking for buys right and let's go on a lower time frame because we just want to squ uh, scalp a little hundred dollars right let's go on a lower time frame on 15 minutes you can see no 30 minutes that's fine you can see that we had an impulsive move over here right so you want to catch the impulse first it broke out with an impulsive move right so we want real time data right now you see this impulsive move that it had over there so what is it saying right in that impulsive move we're interested in the small one because we want real time data and there we have that little uh, candlestick that you can see that the sellers try to step in so obviously the buyers are going to come and breathe over there so that's the zone our point of interest right so let's go and place our trades that's why i'm taking the buy just for that reason we're going to take the buy right there because of that zone and it's going to be a quick scalp right you can see that we have one thousand dollars in our trading account just one thousand dollars so let's start by putting the trades yes we want to use a margin of maybe five hundred dollars four ninety forty nine right now let's use five hundred dollars margin let me add a few more trades right there we're adding a few more trades exactly so we want five hundred dollars margin right cool so if the market comes to this zone, I'm going to add more entries because that'll be half of that candlestick, right? So um, we can draw a trend line also over here. We can draw a trend line because I know sellers are getting into the market because it broke the trend line, but they're forgetting that it's an uptrend. So that zone there, it didn't break. That's a false break, right? We can scalp that as a retest. So now we're just going to fast forward the trade so that it won't take a lot of time it did take like 45 minutes to play out i'm just going to fast forward it to maybe like you know 10 seconds so they can just see see it running up and down we're targeting a hundred dollars don't forget that we're targeting a hundred dollars right let it play out and it was retracing a little bit so if it's 99 dollars exactly so you can really drag it for a few more minutes because you know it's a friday and the market is going to close in no time but since the candlestick has not yet closed we can drag the trade for a few more minutes let me see how long it can play around i just hope it doesn't retrace and go against me right now right so let's 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 see how it plays out ah uh, it's retracing man okay we back up we back up we back up yeah 158 that's good that's good that's good okay so you can see that it it just still uh, formed a little you know evening star morning star over there on our five minute time frame so it has potential to push up to the top it has potential come on don't retrace 
oh it's going back to entry this shows that charts don't move like tap water it plays around with your money and you just have to be patient all right you have to be patient damn come on move we need it to go up to the top we were over 100 now we are under 100 okay we're back i like the momentum 200 let's go okay <laughs> okay okay i think that's a drag 200 dollars. we just hit 200 dollars, and as you can see it's not that difficult guys it's not that difficult but then that's the little strategy that you can actually put into your trading uh, plan or trading account whatever you want to call it maximize on impulsive moves they're really good especially those that like to scalp right i'm a day trader personally and i really love scalping so <laughs> you can see that that was a good entry oh just practice it practice it watch the video over and over again you actually get i just did it really fast but i know if you practice the video over and over again you'll get the hang of what i'm actually talking about right so without wasting a lot of time let's get straight into the weekly analysis for nasdaq and if you're enjoying the video so far i mean just hit the like button turn your post notifications and subscribe to the channel guys as usual traders we're going to go on to our investing.com to check what kind of news we have for this coming week because you don't want to trade without knowing what's going to happen in the market during the week you always want to be up to date with the news so as you can see we do have news on monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday wow we have news every single day we have news every single day but they're not really a high impact news yes they are three head news but they're not that high impact news so what it just means is just that the market is going to be a little bit volatile more than usual this week and that's a really good opportunity for day traders like us because we're just going to be seeing a lot of uh, you know uh, opportunities every single day so let's go straight to our chart on nasdaq obviously you know we like to play on the four hour time frame and this is the analysis for last week if you notice nasdaq did break this zone right but people ignored the fact that it first weaked at that zone right it formed a week so yes it broke and closed outside at that zone that's good and i love people that really took buying positions in this zone because in forex it's not every day that you're going to get winning trades right some days you're going to get losing trades i really love someone who had the guts to take a buy at such a position right because you understand what you're doing but you forgot the fact that it actually broke this zone yes but this week also should have been something to be considered right so it broke that zone and it broke the week but also closed with the week outside it did not close inside of the week so technically it rejected at that zone right it rejected it wanted to to break yes the buyers were stepping into the market but the sellers were also there like no we want the market to go low so they're kind of like you know playing around at that zone and that is our point of interest for this coming week right now so what we're going to do is just almost similar to the strategy that i just showed you guys right because you can notice that we do have an impulse over here and this is on a higher time frame now remember if you're trading on a higher time frame it's going to be different from someone who's trading on a lower time frame on a higher time frame the trades are going to take long time to play out they're going to take one two three days for it to really play out if you're trading on 30 minutes 15 minutes you can go in and out with a couple of hours you know and that is why we are day traders so this zone in in today's market is our point of interest right so we also consider the fact that we have an impulsive move right and then in the impulsive move what did i say in the previous video you want to target the little zones that it has over there so technically you can wait for the markets to open when it opens if it opens with a closed candle right over here wait for it to break this zone right if it breaks that zone and closes outside of it now target the institutional candle that it has over there if it comes to this zone there's a higher chance of it pushing up so it's either you put your stop loss in entry or you you just wait for it to, to to show you signs of you know not breaking out and then if it comes to this trend line it's already too late don't be deceived by this trend line more like it's a retest of this trend line i doubt that very much if it comes to this zone it's already trying to break that zone because it's already it's weak it's weak and for the buying positions obviously it's everything just as usual if it does break this our weeks that failed to break last week if it breaks them then we are obviously just going to go in for our buying positions and also note that for the buying positions right now i cannot draw any trend line because we don't have enough data right so you're going to wait for the market to play around here please i do not want to see these type of trend lines that are like this 
and like that this is not a good trend line so make sure you're drawing your trend lines parallel if it's like that it's going to be this zone and then we're going to connect it to that particular zone right and then wow that's a really good <laughs> that's a really good setup again but then i think that is how people are going to be trapped this is how people are going to be trapped guys i'm literally analyzing this live with you guys okay so what we are saying is the market is going to come here to this zone and obviously a lot of people are going to look for selling for buying positions at this zone but consider that there is something that is drawing the market down there's a lot of money that's sleeping the, a lot of money that's laying at this position a lot of money that's at this zone here so it really makes less sense for the market to come here and bounce up but since it's on an uptrend it's possible right but then there's a higher chance of it breaking because this is acting as i always say guys it's acting like a magnet it's drawing the market the market down to it so we are interested in it coming here and breaking if it breaks just go in don't wait and for the buys it's pretty simple the buys you just wait for the break of the uptrend line and then we go up with it and then also it might play around at this zone form you know a little build up also if it does that now wait for it to break the build up that it forms and then you can also target buying positions if it fails to break the zone it is going to be a really interesting week as you can see the analysis is not that straightforward and we also have a lot of news meaning that the market might play around with a lot of people and it might trap a lot of people but always remember to use risk management if you always do that you're always going to be safe in the market and with that it's been tino and i'm out peace